Hello, beautiful people around the world. Just here to make sure you have an okay life. I hope everyone is blessed, well, and healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life. We got some more news, you guys. Joe Biden. Old Joe and EVs. Yes, indeed, man. Y'all know what we, what we believe on the channel. Spreading the truth. Nothing but the truth. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. And hey, we believe that combustion engines will be around for more decades to come. And me being an EV owner for the last four years, we still believe in our combustion engines, but we still love our EVs. So, hey, comment down below if you think EVs are a scam. Do you own an EV? Are you in the market for an EV? And hey, are you going to ride your combustion engine to the engine blow, to the transmission give out? Comment down below, man. And if you're new here, join the OK Life family. Hit that subscribe button. But man, oh man, again, EVs, in my opinion, should not be pushed on to people. And if you want an EV, go get you an EV. You know what I'm saying? Like they say, you only live once, huh? That can only be one to you. And if you want to stay far away from EVs, stay far away. Again, EVs are not for everybody. Everything has its pros and its cons. And it always comes back to your situation, your living style. What do you prefer? You know, and if you want to try new things, try new things. You just never know. But let's read two of these comments so we can jump right into this video. Barry says, what is really what's really frightening is that a politician thinks he can command and control the economy. And Gary says, you forget to mention that the bulk of rich politicians nationwide are heavily invested in the Chinese battery production. It is possible that is behind this insanity. Ah, oh, man. EVs are the future. Let's check it out, you guys. Joe Biden is facing huge EV backlash. President Biden just dropped a bombshell towards every EV manufacturer out there. His message is loud and clear. EVs are the future, so why are you going against EVs now? Keep those production lines rolling. This comes off as a pretty bold move, especially considering the current EV market crash that's about to come. We're talking about a time when Biden has been throwing out EV incentives left and right, trying to get everyone on board with this mm. electric dream. But here's the shocker. The middle class absolutely hates EVs, and companies are slowly dying due to poor sales. Ford is losing $36,000 on each yeah, vehicle sold. GM is making a loss on all their cars. Even Tesla, the market leader, has been forced to lower prices. Production of EVs is slowing down, and you've got to- Let's hope 2024 treats us well. Hopefully there's not too many price cuts this year, huh? <laughs> Wonder why the sudden change of heart? Why are people ditching EVs? And are EVs a scam? If you thought EV sales were doing so good, wait till I tell you about President Biden's desperate attempts to keep the EV bubble from going into flames. So here's what exactly happened. The public seems to yearn for the good old days of combustion engines. They don't want to be strong-armed into the EV world by political agendas. But the government has been forcing all the car makers to shift to EVs, even if it shatters the middle class completely. Mm. Before we dive into the nitty-gritty of this dramatic shift, let's take a closer look at all the moves Biden has made to champion EVs while trying to phase out combustion engines. All right, so here's the deal. You've probably heard about Biden's big push for electric vehicles, right? Well, it turns out that over 3,000 car dealers are basically basically telling him to pump the brakes on this plan. Why? They're saying there's no real demand for these EVs. Sounds pretty strange, right? First off, these dealers are from all over the US, representing every major car brand you can think of. They're part of this massive coalition that's pretty worried about the current state of EV sales. They're saying that while there was a lot of excitement and hype around EVs initially, the reality is turning out to be quite different. The Biden administration has had this goal of making 50% of car purchases electric by 2030. That's a huge shift. By 2030. And we've already seen a lot of main, uh, brands come out, manufacturers come out, um, saying when they're going to be fully electric. 2030, 2040, you know, big time names. But hey, y'all comment down below. Are you going full electric? 
Are you going to keep that gas guzzler? Hey. We love our combustion engines. Considering the current market dynamics where only 4% of cars sold are electric. But here's the kicker. These dealers are reporting that EVs are just sitting on their lots unsold, even though they're slashing prices and offering all sorts of incentives. Prices are too high. That's a big red flag. And I'll shortly tell you how it could lead to GM and Ford even going bankrupt. Now think about it. If EVs are as great as they're supposed to be, why aren't they flying off the lots? The dealers are pointing to a few big issues. One is the lack of charging infrastructure. I mean, if you buy an EV, you need to charge it, right? But there aren't enough places to do that. It's a hassle. Then there's the energy grid. It's not really ready to handle a massive shift to EVs. People think it doesn't make sense for the common man to pay sixty or $70,000 just to get a car that goes only 250 miles on a charge. And don't even get me started on the battery issue. There's a whole saga about the minerals needed for these batteries, and a lot of That's them- That's about right. I'm getting about, now I'm getting about 260, 270 miles on my Model Y uh, long range. But hey, it's supposed to be up to in the 300s. But, you know, roughly right now, especially in the cold weather, I'm seeing about 250, 260, you know. So comment down below, y'all, again, the, the, you know, the, the average range of around 250. Um, I've seen my buddy who had bought his in 2020 um, getting around 190, what, 91 on a full charge fully charged but again he has a standard range so it might be different you know depending on which model you have um from standard range long range you know so comment down below you guys' range if we have any ev owners come from places like china and speaking of china did you know they're kind of dominating the global ev market they produce around 75 percent of all lithium ion batteries those are the heart of evs and they have a significant hold over the production of key battery components and the processing of critical minerals like lithium, cobalt, and graphite. That's a bit concerning because relying on just one country, whom we're already at a financial war with, could be a big disaster. Back to the car dealers. They're saying to Biden, hey, let's slow down and think this through. They want more time for battery technology to improve, for EVs to become more affordable, and for the US to develop its own mineral sources. Plus, they mm. want the public to actually get comfortable with EVs and choose them willingly, not just because they're being pushed by regulations. Now let's look at some stats. Gas-powered cars made up 93% of new car sales in 2022. That's a huge majority. And when it comes to cost, EVs are still more expensive and less efficient compared to other options. But wait, there's more. Even big car makers like Ford and GM seem to be rethinking their EV strategies. Ford, for example scaled back its plans for a new battery factory in Michigan, cutting the output of lithium iron phosphate batteries by over 40%. They're still investing, but not as heavily as initially planned. And GM dropped its target to produce 400,000 EVs in a certain time frame, citing a need to adjust to the slowing growth in EV sales. Both companies are stopping production of cars like the F-150 Lightning wow. EV and Chevy Silverado EV. It's like everyone was racing towards this electric future, but now they're slamming on the brakes and reassessing the situation. Yep. Dealers are essentially warning that if we push EVs too hard, you know too why. fast, without proper infrastructure you know and market why. readiness, it could backfire big time. In the end, it's all about balance. EVs could be a part of the future, sure, but it seems like there needs to be a more realistic approach, one that considers consumer demand, technological readiness, and economic implications. The dealers are urging Biden to reconsider the pace and not just push EVs for personal profit. But the Biden administration is just too keen on making a statement and putting out a positive image in front of the people. They're going to extreme measures and even handing out billions of dollars to Ford just to make EVs. Hmm. But more on that in a minute. President Biden's focus on promoting EVs in the U.S. has been marked by a series of proactive initiatives. These initiatives are primarily aimed at increasing the adoption of EVs, developing the necessary infrastructure, and boosting domestic manufacturing capabilities. However, some critics argue that these efforts have been more about advancing EVs in the market rather than directly addressing the high costs of these vehicles, potentially suggesting a pursuit of personal or political gain over consumer affordability. 
Let's look at some of these moves. Ambitious EV sales target. Setting a target for 50% of all new vehicle sales to be electric by 2030 is a bold move. It oh, sends a clear signal move, about huh? the administration's commitment to EVs, but doesn't directly address the high upfront costs of these vehicles for consumers. EV charging action plan. While the development of a widespread charging network is crucial for EV adoption, it's a long-term infrastructure project that doesn't immediately alleviate the financial burden on potential EV buyers but no one is trying to fix this right now. Advancing domestic EV manufacturing. Biden has given nearly $9 billion to Ford to make EVs and even stopped foreign brands from taking advantage of EV incentives, effectively saying, we don't want you to sell your cheap cars in the US. Our consumers are fine with buying American products, even if they cost $20,000 more. While these initiatives are undoubtedly laying the groundwork for a future dominated by EVs, they seem more focused on the larger picture of EV adoption and industry support. But this plan is not going as smoothly as thought. American families, it turns out, aren't all that hyped about jumping into EVs. Big names in the car biz like GM and Ford are feeling the heat. They've poured billions into getting these electric beauties rolling off the lines, and now they're hitting pause. GM's got cold feet about expanding its electric truck production, and Ford slamming the brakes on its huge EV plant in Michigan. So what do dealers do with EVs gathering dusts in their lots? Slash prices, that's what. Yeah. We're talking about big time discounts and sweet lease deals, trying to tempt buyers. Hmm. But even with the price cuts, these electric rides are still a hefty hit to the wallet. Did you know enough. that EVs are now some of the slowest moving items in car lots? It's taking ages to sell them compared to their gas powered cousins. And for dealers, that's money just sitting there, not making any. Despite all the discounts, EVs are still pretty pricey. Wow. For instance, a shiny new electric Ford F-150 can set you back a cool $50,000. Now compare that to a regular F-150 at less than $37,000, and you see the problem. Even with tax credits, the price gap's a tough pill to swallow. Interestingly enough, former President Donald Trump has been vocal about his skepticism towards the rapid shift to EVs. He's like the old school guy who loves the roar of a gas engine and isn't quite sold on this whole silent, battery-powered car thing. In a nutshell, Trump sees EVs as too expensive, not practical enough, and kind of a threat to the traditional auto industry. Trump's basically saying, hey, you're putting your eggs in one basket, and it's an expensive, unproven basket at that. Mm. Trump's big on his mm -hmm. idea of economic nationalism. Oh, he thinks EV Trump. mandates could spell trouble for the US auto industry. Like, why go all in on this new tech that's still finding its feet, right? He's worried about jobs, about the industry's future, and about America's place in the car world. Trump's even got a point about EVs being pricey. Let's face it, dropping 50 grand on a new electric truck isn't everyone's cup of tea. Plus, he's tapping into those worries people have about range. Like, can you really take this thing on a long road trip without a charging headache? In contrast, Biden's all about pushing EVs forward. He set ambitious targets for EV sales and is backing up big investments in charging infrastructure. But this has caused some worry among union workers. They're thinking, what about our jobs? Are we going to be left behind in this electric rush? All in all, this major push to EVs could definitely hurt the market big time. If the car makers keep ignoring the consumers just to listen to political leaders, the day isn't far when a major legacy car maker could even close its doors. Do you think EVs are the only future, or should hybrids be given another chance? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're at it, don't I'll comment down below, man. Uh, hopefully, 2024 does as well. That prices go down, that people are exposed, the truth comes out, and that we can figure more about more, more out around this technology, man. But like I told y'all, it's gonna take three to five, another decade, until we truly understand this technology, this battery technology, battery longevity, you know, battery capacity, charge and infrastructure. You know, it's a lot that we still got to cover, man, and still got to figure out. So it's scary me being an EV owner. I know the the risk, you know. But hey, like they say, there can only be one of you, and time is fine. So it is what it is, man. Drop a like, subscribe, join the OK Life family. I love you guys. Wishing the best in everybody's life. And hey, please voice your opinions down below. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about, you know, this whole government politician situation, Joe Biden, EVs? Drop an amazing comment down below. We value your opinion and I will catch you beautiful people 
in the next one. Peace and love, you guys.